My name is Deva Greeley. I'm originally from California. I currently live and work as a peer support specialist here in Wake County in North Carolina. And I am living with multiple mental and behavioral health diagnoses such as bipolar disorder, borderline personality disorder, and complex post-traumatic stress disorder. And the way that these diagnoses have impacted my life, um, it took me down a very dark path for many, many years. And through the grace, and through a lot of hard work, I've been able to get myself to um, a different point, at a very good point in my recovery. And I just can't talk enough about it. So the passion that I have and why I was so just immediately adamant about participating in this summit without knowing any details was that um, this is my life's work. And recovery is lifelong. The conversation and the culture around mental and behavioral health is changing, but there's still a lot of secrecy and taboos around the subject. And it stems from ignorance. And so because I've been so blessed to reach a certain point in my recovery, and because I've been given this big personality and the ability to speak and write and do all these things, I feel compelled to use my story and my voice to bring more awareness to the, to the issue and um, to do it from a really authentic place and a holistic place as well. Um, as I mentioned before, there's um, there's levels, right? So in recovery, it's first you have to admit that there's a problem. Then you learn different skills and, and, and things to do to help you along your recovery. So you learn how to manage. For me, part of my recovery is doing the work that I'm doing now, being a peer support specialist, bringing awareness to mental illness and recovery. And that's where my joy is. Though I am honored and happy to be a part of this initiative and to be a part of this summit, I am not the face of mental illness. I am not the face of recovery. Mental illness is something that impacts people across cultures, races, socioeconomic brackets, across religions. And so to healthcare providers, I would say that Regardless of the demographic you work with, mental health and wellness needs to be something that you're sharing with your patients. What I would impress upon providers as well as everyone is that mental illness doesn't have a particular face. It's very insidious and it affects all communities. And for just for providers to be mindful of that when they're when they're serving people to the community, to people out there who want to enter recovery and get on that journey. I want you to know that it's possible, no matter how bad it's gotten. I want you to know that you're worthy of recovery. And three, you do not have to do it alone. There are people who will lend you an ear, a shoulder, and help you to find resources to stay on that road. There are communities that you can join full of people who will embrace you for everything that you bring to the table. So a lot of times when we think about recovery, whether it's recovery from you know mental illness, substance use, which are often co-occurring, we think it just means, you know, I no longer do drugs, I no longer drink, I no longer, you know, self-harm and things like that. But at the root, recovery is really about recovering your soul, recovering your most authentic self, and recovering all those dreams, visions, goals that you lost sight of. It goes deeper than just stopping the substances or stopping the maladaptive coping mechanisms. It's about recovering the essence of who you are and how you show up in the world and the life that you enjoy.